Hey everyone, welcome to the episode of the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be continuing from where we left off in the previous episode, which is we are trying to create our own custom modal box from scratch. So let's take a look at what we have so far. So right here I have the browser and our app is loaded up. So if I click here, you'll see this overlay uh, happening. And for me, first of all, the first problem I see is that the overlay is appearing way too slow. Uh, so we'll start off this episode by customizing the animation. So I'm going to show you guys how to do just that. And then we're going to move on to, well, we need the content box to appear. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well in this episode. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of little details and we'll cover that as we go. But for now, let's get the, uh, the animation to be right. And also let's uh, fix up the you know the the box the content box and uh, and then we'll we'll continue with the rest uh, as we go so i'm going to hop into the code over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to head over into the css for the motor box and uh, over here what we can add is an animation delay so there's an animation delay uh, property for CSS now um, that allows us to override, um, you know, if you know the animate CSS, I can override it by using this animation delay. So I'm going to put this to 0.3s uh, and we'll see how that goes. So that should be pretty good. Let's do a reload real quick over here. Uh, still slow. Uh, let me do animation duration 0.2s. So it's much faster uh, and we don't want any delay. So now the animation is happening much faster. Um, so uh, let's try 0.4s. So that that works, 0.4s is almost half a, uh, half a second. Um, that's fast enough. So the next thing we're gonna tackle in this episode is we're gonna actually tackle the content box. Well, the content box is just a box in the middle of the, um, it's just a white box in the middle of the modal, in, in the middle of the page. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a width. So a width equals, uh, let's say like 600 PX. Uh, and then margin is gonna be a, um, let's say 20% and then auto and then uh, we're going to do a background white and we're also going to uh, have a min height because initially we're not going to have any content so but we need there to be a, 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 a some kind of height so min height is going to be good uh 600 px so it's going to be a square it's 600 pixels wide 600 pixels uh in height uh, we can also even do it in a way that we can customize the width depending on what kind of content we're putting in the box, but we'll cover that later. So for now, this should be enough to kind of like get us started in terms of the box. So let's see what we have. So over here, I'm going to create another uh, const uh, content classes uh, equal class names and then a styles.content box and uh, the Anim it's going to be animated so um, so we're going to do something like this and uh, zoom in so we kind of want our box to zoom in so uh, I think this will work for us content classes so what we need to do is add a div class name uh, content classes Something like this should work. All right, so let's see what we get by doing this. Uh, I'm gonna head over into the browser, hit reload and click that. So you can see here we have the, the content box now. Uh, there's just a tad bit too much uh, in terms of margin, uh, you know, from the top, but the box is here and it's got the animation that we want. Uh, so let's see. So we have way too much, um, way too much going on in terms of. Um, let's see. So the modal, yeah. So we've got way too much um, margin. So let's reduce that down just a tad. So maybe like even five percent could work. So let me close this guy out. So even something like this would look a little bit nicer. Uh, and, and works. So even if you do something like 10%, hopefully that'll work. 
Yeah, so it's almost like, you know, it's, it's pretty good now. It's almost in the middle of the page, and that's kind of like what we're looking for. Uh, so the next thing we want to do, so maybe I can reduce the min height and, and width. So maybe the width we can have maybe like one, uh, 768 pixels or something like that. So in terms of the width, we can worry about that later. But for now, we just want to get the modal box to kind of work. Uh, so we want to do the animation duration as well. So what we can do is animation duration uh, is going to be about 0 0.5 seconds. All right, so let me hit that again. All right, so now it's a little bit snappier. So, you know, we're not waiting all day for the modal box to show up. Uh, so that's starting to look pretty good and feel pretty good. So one more thing we can add in terms of the, the looks of it uh, is we can add a little bit of box shadow uh, for this content box and look pretty slick. So let me show you guys. So box shadow, uh, zero, zero pixels. So let's say like 10px blur and it's going to be black. Do a re reload real quick. So um, you can kind of see the border, like uh, sorry, the box shadow going on. Uh, it's very subtle, but it is there. Uh, we can even increase this a little bit. So maybe we can do even 30 pixels. All right, so that's starting to look pretty good. So it makes the modal box pop out a little bit more uh, in the page. Uh, so we have a few things. Um, actually, so I think we can even make the model box, uh, box shadow, um, use RGBA, so 0, 0, 0, and then 0 0.8. Let's see how that works. Yeah, it's subtle, but it's a little bit nicer. So so that gets us pretty much most of the way there. So like you, as you can see, very quickly, we can create our own component. Uh, so now we kind of have the basic look and feel. We've got the animation going, uh, and it's 60 frames per second. It's using CSS animation, so it's uh, running on the GPU. It's super slick. Um, so now what's missing is the ability for us to customize the content inside of the box, because if you think about it for a second, you know the content, the, the content inside the box is going to change, and the width is going to change based on um, the content as well. So sometimes you have like something which is very like wide or something you have something narrow. Like, you know, if you have like just a bunch of text scrolling, you might just want it to be narrow and you can, so you can scroll through the text uh, or you have a video player, you want it to be 16 by nine. So you want to be able to control the width uh, of the, of the modal box here uh, and all that stuff. Another thing is when we close this thing, it just disappears there's no kind of animation for for like you know closing the motor box like we look so slick you know getting into the motor box but we we just kind of like pop out we just snap out of the motor box so uh that's not a very pleasant uh thing i mean after all we are we're doing this animation with animation and everything so uh what we're going to be doing in the next episode is i'm going to show you guys how to um you know customize the animation a little bit more um, so that we have like a, a way to control the animation of how it closes. Like we can ideally when we close, you have we have it zoom out and all that stuff would be pretty cool, right? Uh, so yeah, in the next episode, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, working on uh, the closing animation and then uh, working on uh, after that, uh, we're gonna work on like the ability to you know set the content manually, maybe set the width manually or whatever customization we really want to do. So with that, I want to wrap it up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel uh, on YouTube. Also become a member to get access to everything. So this is a free episode, uh, but you know, not all these uh, React Foundation series videos is free. Uh, we have member exclusive content on our website. So I highly recommend you guys check that out to get you know the, the cohesive experience where you get access to our, all of our videos and you can see everything that we're doing. Um, so yeah, with that, I want to wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next episode.